The legendary plumber turned video game hero will hop his way into the hearts of moviegoers. Yes, that's right, it's a him! Mario on his way! It's been nearly 30 years since Mario's world was adapted for the big screen. The currently untitled film, which will arrive nearly three decades after 1993's critically panned Super Mario Bros., will offer a fresh take on the video game franchise beloved by audiences worldwide for nearly 40 years. The Super Mario film, which was first announced in 2018, is collaboration between Nintendo, Illumination, and Universal. Video games have long featured Mario and his brother Luigi as the main characters. Mario was created by Shigeru Miyamoto and first appeared in the 1981 video game Donkey Kong before appearing in the 1983 film Mario Brothers. Since then, the Super Mario gaming series has grown to include titles like Mario Kart and Super Mario Brothers. In the first Mario and Luigi live-action movie, which came out in 1993, Bob Hoskins played Mario and John Leguizamo played Luigi. The story followed the brothers as they attempted to save Princess Daisy from King Koopa. Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo played the titular heroes in the 1993 film, which was based on the hugely successful franchise. They learn about an ancient evil, an underground city, and their true destiny. The movie was a complete failure, having cost $48 million to make but only earning $20.9 million at the box office. It failed to impress critics and movie fans, receiving a 15% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The film laid out many of the problems that would be encountered by future attempts, even though not every video game adaptation has been a failure. While this wasn't the first attempt to adapt a popular video game into a movie, it was Nintendo's only attempt to bring one of its franchises to the big screen. The heavily debated Super Mario Bros. movie from Universal and Illumination has been formally delayed from this year to April 7, 2023. The endearing video game franchise has been adapted into movies before, but this upcoming project features the biggest cast of them all. Super Mario Bros. will be directed by Aaron Harvath and Michael Jelinek, using a script written by Matthew Fogel. When the cast for the stalled movie was revealed last year, it seemed like the project was finally moving forward as the initial release date for Super Mario Bros. was December 21, 2022. It's not entirely clear what caused this unexpected Super Mario Bros. delay, but it could be that production is taking a little longer than originally planned. Although plans for this version of the film date back to 2020, the complete cast was only revealed in September. As for the cast, the one and only Chris Pratt will play Mario in the new Super Mario movie, but there are many other well-known actors who will also appear. The world-famous princess that Mario and Luigi battle to save in the video game Princess Peach will be voiced by Anya Taylor-Joy, while Bowser, the main enemy of Mario, will be voiced by Jack Black, Charlie Day will be lending his voice to Mario's brother Luigi. Along with these actors, the cast also includes Sebastian Maniscalco as Spike, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek, Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, whose presence unites two Nintendo franchises. Michael Keegan Key plays the humanoid character Toad, who has a mushroom perched on the top of his head. And even though it would be a dream for Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario for many years in video games, to reprise the role of Mario for the computer animated film, he will instead make an appearance in a cameo role. Before we continue, we wanted to inform you that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. As if voicing Princess Peach in the upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie wasn't already a dream job, Annie Taylor-Joy reveals that it comes with some incredible advantages. The Super Mario Bros. movie job requirements really are every gamer's fantasy, according to Taylor-Joy, who made this statement in a recent interview. The actress had to naturally become familiar with a well-known video game character in order to prepare for her role. Taylor Joy has thus been playing Super Mario Bros. for hours as homework. According to star Charlie Day, the upcoming Mario film is just as secretive as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fans are eager to learn more about how directors Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelinek intend to approach the material this time since Hollywood's previous attempt to adapt the character for the big screen. 1993's live-action Super Mario Bros. failed so badly. Day admits that he has recently completed a significant amount of recording for the Mario movie but he's unable to reveal any details. In comparison to Marvel Studios' notorious confidentiality, Day says that he was only provided enough lines to do his part, with the majority of the script kept out of his hands. A positive indication that everyone involved in the new film has a clear vision for the upcoming video game film is the fact that it is animated and tends toward comedy. The idea that Super Mario Bros. is joining a long list of upcoming video game movies that are also being adapted into multi-movie series may indicate that Nintendo wants Super Mario Bros to be the start of a significant franchise. 
Nintendo doesn't want to make the mistake of introducing too many characters in the same movie, so the omitted fan favorite Yoshi and the villainous team of Wario and Waluigi may be introduced in the inevitable sequel. In terms of who'll be the villain, it's Bowser and his advisor Kamek who will be heavily used as the main antagonist for Pratt's Mario and Day's Luigi, with Peach probably being abducted by the terrifying reptile just like she is in the Super Mario video games. A more interesting inclusion is that of Cranky Kong and what it says. The enemy of Mario in 1981's early appearances of the character was Cranky Kong, the grandson of Donkey Kong. The upcoming Mario Brothers animated film should clear up the frequent confusion between Donkey Kong and Cranky Kong. The presence of Cranky Kong in the film also suggests that the plot may center on Mario's early years. Mario originally appeared as a character named Jumpman before 1983's Mario Brothers settled the legend of the Italian who ate mushrooms. However, since Mario is a stereotype of an Italian man, it was always going to be difficult to use his catchphrase, it's a me Mario. So Chris Pratt, who will voice Mario in the new movie, won't try to imitate the voice of Mario or use the old phrase. Instead, the phrase will be mentioned, but it won't play a significant role in Mario's personality. It's difficult to predict how the catchphrase will be used without becoming the main attraction, but Pratt certainly seems to be making an effort to introduce the character to a new audience. The most difficult part of making any Mario movie is adapting the beloved characters from the franchise, characters who rarely speak in the games, to a setting where they must naturally be more developed and verbose. To put it another way, how can you introduce talking to them without losing the spirit of the original Super Mario characters? It's a tricky challenge and the solution isn't immediately obvious, but it most definitely isn't to impose generic archetypes from other recent animated films onto Mario, Luigi, and the other characters in Super Mario Bros. The Super Mario Bros. movie from 1993 was a failure in part because it was too bizarre, but more so because it neglected most of the qualities that made Mario so popular. Illumination's Mario movie now runs the risk of having a cast that could easily be used in any other animated film. Last but not least, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. But seriously, the Super Mario Bros. cast of 2022 shows that Nintendo is staying safe. The choice to cast well-known actors in well-known roles helps to establish brand recognition and suggests that even if the film isn't particularly groundbreaking, it'll be highly enjoyable. Whether it succeeds or fails, Super Mario Bros. is a risk for Nintendo and Illumination, but it also has the potential to be rewarding for all parties involved and even to begin a new animated franchise. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.